Biloxi, Mississippi, sponsored by Air. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Tales Olympian Gardens Trivia K9 Five Tournament. Please say hello to our contestants. He is the best player from Chicago, Illinois, Theo McCready. A tournament from Springfield, Missouri, Maxine Rutland. And finally, a PM from Springfield, Massachusetts, Ella Acuna. And now, from the Golden Nugget Biloxi Hotel and Casino Resort, here is the host of Tales and Game Gardens Trivia, Tiffany Young. Well, it's about time that it's time for another round of Tales and Game Gardens Trivia. Although Tales and Game Gardens Real Estate and its sister company, Elijan Siemens Late Night 48, had experienced technical problems, but it's back to normal. We have Ella, Maxine, and Theo, all from K95, ready for action and to win money for the charity, which is the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, headquartered in Seattle. Are you ready? Let's get started. Those questions are from the AARP website. Question 1. For $225, which of the following should never be divulged to a stranger, especially someone who contacts you out of the blue? Maxine? Is it all of the above? That is right. Safeguard such data, known as personally identifiable information, since it fuels financial fraud. Your date of birth, driver's license number, credit card and PIN numbers and other sensitive information should be held close to the vest. Question 2. For $450, cyber thieves who try to steal your money or PII can use technology to disguise which of these? Maxine? Is it all of the above? That is correct. Question 3. For $675, which of these businesses suffered the biggest data breach of all time, putting billions of its customers' sensitive data at risk? Maxine? Is it Yahoo.com? That is correct. Question 4. For $900, the most common types of scams reported to Federal Bureau of Investigations Internet Complaint Center in 2019 were what? Theo? Is it a lottery, sweepstakes or inheritance scams? Nope. Not those type of scams. Anyone else? Maxine? Is it phishing scams? That is right. Those are the scams that we are looking for. Question 5. For $1,125 the Federal Trade Commission, or FTC, examined fraud reports in 2019 and found most often criminals first contacted victims by doing what? Ella? Is it calling them on the phone? That is right. Be wary of telephone calls from strangers. It's the most common way for crooks to initiate contact, according to the Federal Trade Commission's Consumer Sentinel Network Data Book 2019. Question 6. For $225, how much money was lost to fraud in 2019, according to reports sent to the Federal Trade Commission's Consumer Sentinel Network data book? Theo? Is it $1.9 billion? That is right. Nearly $667 million of this total was lost to imposter scams alone. Question 7. For $450, which former director of the CIA helped foil a Jamaican lottery scam, leading to the arrest and conviction of the perpetrator, who was sent to prison in 2019? Maxine? Is it William Webster? That is correct. Question 8. For $675, how can you improve your online security? Maxine? Enough tomato plants. I root for all of the above. That is correct. Question 9. For $900, credit cards offer consumers better protection against liability for fraudulent purchases compared with debit cards because of the what? Ella? Is it the Electronic Fund Transfer Act? I'm sorry, that's wrong. Anyone else? Theo? Is it the Fair Credit Billing Act? That's the one. Theo, since you've got back onto the positive side with $225, you can bet up to $2,500. How much do you wish to bet? I will save $475 from the $2,500, making it $2,025. So $2,025 it is. Question 10, which is a bonus question. 
for $2,025 which payment methods do fraudsters often request from victims. I believe I am going to steal this three times saying from Maxine, which is also the answer. And that is? All of the above. Well, Theo, now you get the point. Now let's check the scores. Maxine has $3,375, Theo has $2,250, and Ella has only $225. So it's midnight, time for bed, so let's go to a 30-second commercial break. Be back in the morning. Mommy, ilan salon pass? Hmm. Anak, pwedeng anim? Pwede po. Pagod sa trabaho? Magsalon pass. Nanunuot ang init sa katawan para sa mahimbing at makinhawang pagtulog. Salon pass for everyday body pain. Salon pass pain relief patch. Stronger effect. Long lasting up to 12 hours. Less scent. All these in Salon pass pain relief patch. Welcome back to Tales Londian Gardens Trivia. Now to resume our game. Let's get rolling. Question 11. For $225, which of these topics can an interviewer ask about? Theo? Is it disabilities? Close, but no Pokemon. Anyone else? Time is expired. The correct answer is none of these are acceptable. Question 12. For $450, true or false, an employer can ask if you have health problems. Maxine? Is it false? They cannot ask about health problems, but they can touch on this topic vaguely? I'm sorry, that's wrong. Anyone else? Ella? Is it true, but only if it is relating to the performance of specific duties? That is correct. Question 13. For $675, instead of using the word laid off in a cover letter or resume, what term do human resources experts advise job applicants to use? Ella? Is it employment was terminated? Close, but no Pokemon. Anyone else? Theo? Is it reduction in force? That is correct. Question 14. For $900. Can an employer ask if you are a U.S. citizen? This is a tricky one. An employer can ask you if you are a U.S. citizen, but only for high security roles. Question 15. For $1,125 when it comes to questions about the caretaking of elderly parents and or kids, what is the rule? Maxine? Is that it is fine to ask, as employers need to know your availability? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's wrong. Anyone else? Ella? Is it it is not illegal, but not a good idea? That is correct. And that sound means it's the end of round one, but it appears that all of our players are not doing well. We have Theo in the lead with $2,700, Mixing in second place with $1,800, and Ella back on track in third place with $1,125. Let's interview the players. Cool and collected, Theo is K95's poetic bass player. He was born in Chicago. Theo grew up helping in his parents' used record shop. He loved to sit in the back and write poems while listening to the music being played in the store. His poems always reflected the type of music being played, classical, rock and roll, or jazz. Over time, Theo developed a great love for the blues. He bought an old double bass from a second-hand shop and taught himself how to play it. Well, Tiffany, my family moved to Springfield shortly after my 10th birthday. I met Gershin in gym class, and we quickly became good friends. Gershin has wet himself in public from time to time. Also, when the toilet paper is gone, we were diapered. Ha ha, apparently Dr. Crabble Snitch treated you along with other contestants on the show and are previously on the show like babies when the toilet paper quickly ran out at the start of the pandemic. Maxine, known as the Princess of Percussion is the drummer for K95. She is a Springfield native. Her father is a layout artist for a fashion magazine, and her mother is a buyer for a catalog. Maxine first played the drums when her mother was evaluating a set for the catalog. 
Mixin was instantly captivated by the notion that drums communicate to people of all cultures. She soon started a collection of instruments with unique percussive sounds. Okay, Tiffany, I met Ella, who is the player on the show next to me, when we joined the same Pop Scouts troupe. We have been great friends ever since. I have many kids, after I lost my job, my children were gone, I got them back when I got my internship. So you live in Cape Coral, Lee County, Florida, with six kids, Davey, age 11, Kara, age 9, Cadence, age 15. Allie, age 6, Marietta, age 17, and Amy, age 7. You now work weekly while your children are at school, and still looking for work elsewhere. Ella is down-to-earth, detail-oriented, and downright organized. As the group's manager, Ella books all of the band's concert appearances and arranges their recording contracts. Ella grew up in Springfield, where she became an accomplished pianist at a very young age. Ella was drawn to the energy and beauty of classical music. When she wasn't playing the piano, Ella could be found down at the recreation center playing basketball with her friends. Late one day in July, Ella's best friend, Gershwin, came over with his guitar. He begged Ella to help him finish a song he was writing. It just didn't sound right without a piano. Together, they wrote a beautiful song about dreams and decided to form a band to perform it. All of you know the band SK95. Ella has something to tell. I have five kids, and all of whom live in Polk County with my husband, Nicholas, currently deployed in the Army and my children are, L, age 4, Denise, age 12, Alpen, age 10, Savannah, age 21, currently in college at Florida State, and Deirdre, age 14. I work part-time at Discovery High School as a substitute teacher every nine weeks. With Savannah away at college, Elle at preschool, Alpin at elementary school, Denise at middle school, Deirdre at high school, and your husband Nick deployed in Kuwait. You took your time to appear on the show, which is a good thing. Okay, let's go to round two, in which the dollar values are doubled. Let's get back to the game. Question 16. For $450, doing this in an interview could be grounds for termination later. Time is expired. The correct answer to question 16 is, lying. Question 17, for $900, slightly fewer than this percentage of employers provide severance pay to workers whose employment is terminated. Maxine? Is it 50? That's right. 50% is the right answer. Question 18. For $1,350 employment furloughs, which are days and weeks off without pay, are meant as a way to do what? Theo? Is it cut payroll costs and avoid layoffs? That is correct. Question 19. For $1,800 the current wage gap between women and men is shrinking. What percentage of a man's salary do women currently get paid? Maxine? Is it 76.1%? Close, but no Pokemon. Anyone else? Ella? Is it 82.8%? That's the one. Question 20 is a bonus question for you, Ella. Since you got back on track with $2,925, you are able to gamble up to $5,000. How much do you wish to gamble? I say about $4,050. Question 20. For $4,050 research indicates that 80 to 95% of people over 50 believe that this can happen. Is it age bias is a fact of life? I believe you're right since 50% said the wrong answer. But you are right. Question 21. For $450. What percentage of Americans age 50 and older say they want to stay in their homes as they age? Maxine? Is it 76%? That is right. An AARP survey found that 3 out of 4 adults want to stay in their homes and communities as they age. Question 22. For $900, what are some key modifications that can make it easier for aging residents to navigate their homes? Maxine? I already know what it is, all of the above. Well, I'm sorry for using your all of the above answer as an excuse for a tomato plant, but you're right. 
The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development notes that all of these items can help residents age in place. Question 23. For $1,350, what percentage of aging-related home modifications are paid for out-of-pocket? Mixine, is it 80%? That is right. This is according to the National Association of Home Builders. Some local and federal programs can assist low-income residents. Question 24. For $1,800, what digital upgrades to your home will make aging in place easier? Mixine, is it all of the above? Well, you kept saying it, and that counts as an answer, which means you are right. New technology is emerging every year to support older Americans who wish to stay in their homes as they age. Question 25. For $2,250 what is the most popular home upgrade? Ella, is it remodeling the bathroom? That is right. In 2018 the bathroom overtook the kitchen as the most popular remodeling project, according to the National Association of Home Builders. Question 26. For $450, when remodeling, which project has the biggest return on investment for resale? Ella, is it minor kitchen remodel? Close, but no Pokemon. Anyone else? Theo, is it minor bathroom remodel? That is definitely right. This type of renovation provides a 102% return on investment. Landscaping comes in second with a 100% return on investment, according to HGTV. Question 27. For $900, what is the most common aging in place remodeling project? Mixine? Is it installing higher toilets? Nope, that's not it. Anyone else? Ella? Is it installing grab bars? You are absolutely correct. According to the National Association of Home Builders, Grab bar installation tops the list. Question 28. For $1,350, the National Association of Home Builders has created a certified aging in place specialist program. What tasks can these specialists assist with? Mixine? Aren't you glad I didn't say all of the above again? Ha ha. That joke was on me, and you got that one right. Aging in place specialists have training and knowledge to provide suggestions on upgrades and strategies to enable people to stay in their homes longer. Question 29. For $1,800 what steps should you take before starting your own business? Mixine? Are you going to make me say all of the above again? I know all of the above is the right answer. Looks like all of the above is your answer, which is right. Before starting your own business, Take the time to analyze yourself, do your research, identify your product or service, know the financial risks, and develop a business plan. Question 30, which is the final question. For $2,250, what does building a business require? Maxine, I know you're going to answer this one because of your all of the above junk. All of the above? And you did. You probably want to start your business because you encountered a need that you found a way to solve. But remember, building a business requires strategic planning, financial reserves, and the energy and zeal to put in long work weeks. And in case you didn't notice, we've ran out of time. And although thanks to Maxine's all of the above tomato plant, she is now in the lead with $9,900, $225 lead over Ella, who has $9,675, and Theo is in third place with $4,500. Let's move to the final, okay, before we get to the final category, while you write down your gambling amounts, I'm going to tell you something important that Tails Londian Gardens Real Estate just posted. Please listen carefully. Two games of Tales Londian Gardens trivia are delayed which are supposed to be Toon Blast Thursday and Furry Friday, to be held at Culopolis Entertainment on Wednesday, August 25th, and Thursday, August 26th, both of which are to be scheduled at 7.30pm and 8pm on Friday, August 27th. Still, me, Tiffany Young from Girls' Generation will be hosting. 
there are new replacement contestants on those dates instead of the actual contestants. Okay, now to the final round rule. You will have 60 seconds to write down the answer to this question in this category. Physical therapy, many of you know that, right? Alright, now that the important information, golden rule, and category reveal are out of the way, here is the question. A physical therapist assistant attempts to identify an appropriate wheelchair for a 34-year-old patient with bilateral lower extremity amputations. The most important feature of a wheelchair designed for the patient should be this instructional task. You have 60 seconds. Good luck to all of you. Your time starts right now. What is the physical therapist assistant doing to the 34-year-old amputee's wheelchair? Theo, we'll start with you. You have $4,500 in third place right now. Is it the drive wheels are set behind the vertebral back supports? Well, I guess you are correct. How much did you add to it? $2,025. Bringing you to $6,525. Now to go over to Ella. With $9,675, what did you put down? The drive wheels are set behind the vertebral back supports? Good. You bet about, I say, $6,075. Bringing you to $15,750, which is Mau Mau's winning total, as I speak. And finally we go to Maxine, who has $9,900. What did you put down? The drive wheels are set behind the vertebral back supports? You put a note saying, trust me. I am going to win. And did you bet more than $5,850? $8,100? Yes. Bringing you to $18,000. And, despite your all of the above answer endeavors, Maxine, who beat Ella by $2,250 more than Mel Mel's winning, is the winner of Tales Londian Gardens Trivia. Congratulations! And Tales Londian Gardens Real Estate in Asian Siemens Late Night 48 would like to thank you submit super advertising so long as pain patches, in which some contestants will receive for second and third place prizes. I am Tiffany Young. See you next time. Bye. This game of Tales Lendian Gardens Trivia is sponsored by selling this prank matches from Hisanesu. Tales Lendian Gardens Trivia is filmed in front of a live studio audience and is produced by Black David Enterprises and Kayla Ali Worldwide Productions.